Hi, Dan from DT Systems and Gundog Success here to talk about why we use different colored retriever dummies. First of all, let's start out with white. White dummies are very easy to see when they're in, laying in green grass. They provide a nice contrast, and contrast is important if we want the dog to see the dummy. So we're working on marking where we want the dog to be able to use its eyes and follow its eyes straight to the object. We'll use white dummies. So anytime we want the dog to see the object, uh, laying in the grass, white dummies are the best. Now if we want the dog to see the dummy from a long distance, if we're doing long marks, we'll use the white dummy when we have a dark background so the dog can see it from a distance to provide contrast. On the contrary, when we use orange, dogs are what we believe is to kind of colorblind. The best way for me to describe is they're kind of colorblind and they see green and orange as very similar shades. They can't differentiate. So the use of the orange dummy is great when we don't want the dog to see the object on the, on the ground. So for instance, if I want to throw a dummy and have my dog go out to the area and use its nose to find the dummy rather than to just have it obvious and use its eyes, I'll throw an orange dummy. If I'm doing a blind retrieve exercise and I don't want the dog to blatantly see the object laying out in the yard, I'll use an orange dummy. So a lot of times when we're doing handling exercises with our retrievers, you'll see us use orange dummies. Now, black and white. This flasher bumper, a lot of people call them flashers because when they fly through the air, it looks like they're flashing, are used to be able to throw in any environment and have the dog see it. So when you see there's a dark background, you can see the white. And if you look up at the sky, you get the sky in the background, the black shows up. So these bumpers can be seen from a long distance away no matter what the background is.